Which one you want to try? I'll try this one on the very top. This one here? Yeah, on the very top. Okay. Are you ready to take a bite? Yeah. Hi everyone, today we are making soft presso but before we get started, just want to let you guys know that we have started a blog, just check out our blog address in the description below. Um, for the ingredient that we need for soft presso, um, let's go through the list. We have the yeast mixture, which is going to be 1 cup of water, 2 teaspoons of active dry yeast, 1 teaspoon of sugar, and then we have the dough, which is two and a half cup of plain all-purpose flour and half a teaspoon of salt. And then we have the baking soda bath, two tablespoons of baking soda and one cup of hot water. And at the end, we're going to have a butter glaze, which is three tablespoons of melted butter. So let's get started. So we're going to make the yeast first for our presso. I'm going to pour in the yeast. This is the yeast. This is the yeast, yes. Mm -hmm. You have the lid. So first we're going to need water. One, one cup of water. Okay, can you check the temperature for me please? Yeah. Yeah. What is that funny looking tool? The thermometer. Cool. Can you look at the dial? I need it to be 40. It's not moving. It stopped moving? Yeah. What have we got here? This is... Oh, this is 45. I need it to be 40. And now we need one... One yeah, teaspoon of sugar. One. Yes, all in. Very good. Mm, looking good. It's so done, yeah. So I don't oh yeah, I 40 it. now. I think it's pretty good. So I open it by myself. So I need two good teaspoons to go in there, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, just scoop in. Just scoop it. Scoop in. Yeah. Good. One? Yep, one. Yep, all in. And one more. Okay. Yep, all in. Very good. Thank you. And we're just gonna mixing it all in. Oh, look at that. There's a nothing medium. Nothing yet. Now we're gonna have to put it into Put it aside. We're gonna put it aside and let the yeast grow a little bit. Did you check? Okay, we're gonna leave it aside and leave it for about 10 minutes. Um, I normally like to hide it in my microwave because it's keeping it a little bit nice and warm. So timer for about 10 minutes we need to put the the blade dough in in there first yeah Help you. One, two cup. Mm. Not that much. Let's put it in. So how many did I say I need? Two and a half cup, right? Yeah. Well done. Let's do another one. All the way to the top. Okay. Wow. Can you go get the half cup? Half cup? Yep, 
that one very cool now we need to put all that in here Oh, I think I kind of missed a little bit. But never mind. Here we go. All right, we got that. Now we're gonna hopefully fill in flour. Well, next ingredient is salt. Salt. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put about half a teaspoon. Yeah, let's scoop half a teaspoon. Very cool. Put it in there. And put some like that tape. Very good. Now it's all done. Yeah. So we're gonna close it and we're gonna mix it up a bit. Okay? Tanya, the bowl has the triangle here. Yeah. Can you match the lid? Triangle onto the bowl, please. Yeah. Pretty good. Yep. Can you close it? Very cool. Okay, I think I need to help you with this. A little bit this way, darling. Okay. Turn it to the left. Turn the bow to the left. And just click. Yeah. And power on. One, two, power, three. power first. Power. 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 Yeah. Now we're only going to do mm -hmm. a blend. Blend. You two. Yeah. To the press hard. Cover your ear. <laughs> Done. Done. Yep. Okay, done. Let's check the yeast. 10 minutes and it's looking pretty good. We can use this. Oh, I'm gonna open it. Now let's open it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, lift it up. Very good. Now we're going to put the yeast mixture in there. Yeah, yeast. Can I do it? Are you gonna do it? Yeah. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Hold the handle. Pour everything in there, all of them. Ooh, pretty cool. That was this warm. Uh huh. I'll put it back. Now put it back on. Yeah. Match the triangle together. Yeah. Close it. Very good. Now can I put it back on? Put it back on. We are going to press the dough, which is number one. Yeah. yeah, press it and cover your ear. Process for about a minute. Just need to check that the dough is elastic. And if you don't have um, an equipment, you can just simply mix it all in a bowl and just knead the bread for maybe 10-15 minutes. Just check that the dough becomes elastic. Okay, so now I chip the dough into a ball quite nicely. Look at that. Okay, spring. It's, it's spring back. So I think it's kind of ready. Anyway, I put the flour around it and now we're gonna leave it in for about 30 minutes to one hour. Let's see how it goes. We left it for about an hour and come back to it and now we divide the dough up. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do I have eight pieces on the plate? Yeah. Start from here. One. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, six. seven, eight. That's it, we got eight. eight. Hold on. Too noisy. 
Okay, we're gonna make a baking soda, but wow, too much. Check it off, one flat spoon. <laughs> okay, one. Yeah. And one more. A bit less, okay, but one more. Yeah, but this is over too much. There we go. So we got two tablespoons yeah. of baking soda. Yeah. One cup of. So we're gonna make one cup of baking soda water. So what I have here is half cup. Half cup of really hot water. Whoa! Look at that tea. Yum. Do you see that? All oh, sizzling up. Get a stir. Make sure everything is soaked. And now I just add another half cup of boiling hot water and stir them so they are now soaked quite well. Now you can see it's all clear. It's all clear. Now I need to make sure this water is now cool, cooling down. Can be lukewarm or totally cool. Preheat the oven to two to two hundred forty six degrees or about four hundred and seventy five Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. I make it. I make it thirty inches long. Are you? Yeah. All right. Let's do that. I'm doing my first one. Okay. Let me try one. Whoa. So you can you can work on a oil surface, but I'm not. I'm just gonna do it on my clean table here. And let's move this one aside over here. See if we can get my seventy six. It's shrink back a bit. So. And the door might need to rest a little bit more so they relax. Ah, look at that. Mommy. 
eat pretzel before. But you didn't make it. You never made it before. No. So it's my first time making pretzel. You see how it's gonna turn out? Yeah. Okay, this is my... Mom, I got nine of them! Baking soda water. This baking soda bath will give the preso that golden brown look on the finish. So we're just soaking each preso in the baking soda water for two minutes each. And then we're just going to lay them out on a baking tray where we lie a baking paper. After we laid all the preso onto the baking tray, we're going to season them. You can put salt, um, whatever topping you like, maybe sesame seed, cinnamon sugar. We're going to wait for 10 minutes for it to rest and then going to put it into the, the oven. Them is your one. This one. Especially this one, Tanya wanted to experiment them in the croissant shape. Yeah. So we're gonna be seeing how that one worked out. Mom, my one. So we sprinkle some sesame seed on this one here, and some coconut sugar on that one, and we put them in the oven now. Ooh, that's what it looks like right, right now. Can't wait for it to come out. Here we go, this is our preso. We bake them for 8 minutes or until it goes golden brown. Yep, just keep brushing them with that butter. Very cool. Yeah. Smells good! Yeah. Here we go, after we put the butter on them, this is what they look like. One here. Yeah, looks pretty good. We will have a taste test soon. You back? Yeah, but they're ready. That one is not ready. I was talking about that one there. But you ready. Which one you wanna try? I'll try this one on the very top. This one here? Yeah, on the very top. Okay. Are you ready to take a bite? Yeah, that's a little bit of crunch. You like it? Another bite? Wow. This is amazing. The ones Tanya, Tanya experiment with this croissant shape one and look like it's kind of beautiful as well. So look over here. Look at that one. Croissant preso. Uh, it's good to just like the play doll. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, it's good to like a song like that one too. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss our new videos.